Hi guys and welcome back to another Minecraft video. So what I've actually done in this video is taken a picture off of Google Images. This one was actually by a guy called Dong Hee Han and he's drawn an absolutely amazing looking medieval house. And what I decided to do is actually take that photo and build a full medieval house using the same kind of concept, same kind of style and actually try to recreate it but also obviously add a couple more tweaks to it to actually kind of recreate it in Minecraft and yeah I want to kind of talk through a couple of little things that I've actually done with this. So first off um, colour wise what I decided to use is pretty similar. Um, it looks like they've got some sort of cobblestone down the bottom. Um, I decided to go with stone bricks for the main kind of pillars of it then using cobblestone in between just because they go really well in Minecraft and it makes it look a lot cooler and you get a lot more detail going on. Um, I use some yeah planks, uh, not really planks sorry, the oak stripped oak um, or stripped spruce wood should I say uh, for the top of it and then for the white I used my kind of typical mix which is white wool, uh, white concrete powder and also using diorite as well but I also decided to use some barrels for the bottom bits so like down here for example we've got some planks I decided to use some barrels in those bits. Um, and of course for the roof, um, it looked very much like colour wise at least the closest one we had was brick. So um, yeah, brick is becoming very very quickly my favourite block for roofing. Um, so I'm going to have to at some point force myself out of using brick for roofs. Um, but yeah, very very similar in terms of what we've actually got going on with these. But also a little bit different. So we have got you know things like uh, the top bits where I've got this bit sticking out. I decided to stick it out a little bit more and also have a lantern on top as well as having the uh, brick going on. We've got the same kind of thing going on here with the iron bars. Um, the chimney doesn't go up as high on my one, uh, but it is a functional chimney using the cool, cool, cool campfire block that we've now got on 1.14. I absolutely love that block. Um, but yeah, very, very similar kind of styles. I have done a full interior for this one as well. So um, let's jump in to full Minecraft and I'll show you guys what I've actually done with this one. So here is the house up close. So if I can show you guys a couple of little bits. Um, obviously this side was built almost exactly from the picture. The only bit I added in is just the um, walls, the, the stone stone brick walls going over as well as the slabs. Uh, just adding a little bit more detail. I moved the actual lantern, it was over on this side so I've just moved that over. Uh, used this kind of step here and put in a couple of little bit blocks, you know, the barrels, uh, some oak wood logs as well. Uh, and I don't know why I can't place them, that's really oh it's a button there. Um, put in some oak logs and also some campfires and just uh, obviously put them out so you just get the logs. They look really good. Uh, we've got this downstairs area here, I've got Lord Duck's house written on a sign, why not? Now around the back we didn't have any pictures at all so I kind of um, did what I kind of uh, guessed what was going on. Which was because I could see the other side of the roof I knew there was going to be a peak on that side, the same kind of thing. And this is the dominant roof, so this is the dominant roof so therefore you're always going to have, or almost always going to have Another bit here and I just used the same kind of uh, effect where we push it forwards by one block. Uh, I did put a stables in as well because um, whenever I get onto survival Minecraft which is going to be pretty soon I think for 114 I am actually going to be building um, probably this and I, I do want a nice stable area as well uh, to have some horses. Uh, going around the other side yes we've got the nice really really big chimney I decided to make this absolutely huge and I'll show you why it's so big as well um, on when we get onto the interior because you'll you can see what we've actually got going on, it's quite cool. And I just put a balcony on this back wall. This wall was really, really flat. And because I've got a bed in there, I didn't want to do the same window design as this because of, there you go, you can see the bed in there. Um, yeah, it would just make it look a little bit odd. So actually putting in a balcony uh, to walk around actually kind of works. And then just having the lanterns kind of, you know, off of the side of those, I think it's really, really cool. So let's have a little look inside. I've got a couple secrets as well actually. For you guys that have watched this far already, there, there is actually two secret places where we can put some chests. Uh, so we've, yeah, we've got the main um, dining room in here. So using the new scaffold blocks and yeah, just normal kind of chairs and things like that. And yeah, nice lanterns, uh, small little little cupboard jukebox. This is where you'd be chilling and listening to music and all that. Uh, we've got the main kind of like kitchen area in here. So this is also where uh, I'd be like chilling out at night, you know, just warming up by the fire after a day's crafting or whatever. Um, so we've got a really, really big fireplace with uh, a nice skeleton skull and a wither skeleton. Obviously this guy's been doing a lot of stuff. So nice cauldron over the fire there. I have put in two furnaces on the side. Um, I was thinking about it, I was like, actually, I'm going to try and make this a little bit functional if I'm going to use it as my like survival house. Uh, so put those in on the size, sides there. Uh, and then actually using the barrels, this is something that I watched from one of Vigaman's videos actually. He actually showed the barrels as being a really cool kitchen idea. So big shout out to Vigo for those ideas. I think they're really great and actually it really works 
for storage so I can actually have all my food stored in here. Now, a lot of the barrels, there are a lot of barrels actually in uh, the main part of the build, so you can actually store pretty much everything everywhere, which is it's pretty nuts. Um, but yeah, nice little simple bits there for that kind of kitchen side and some ale as well. Everyone needs some ale. So if we go into the main bedroom, so this would be what would be my bedroom. Uh, nice four-poster kind of bed, four-post bed. What do you call them? I can't remember what they call them. Uh, and then just using banners around it and actually having three beds in there as well. And the dark oak, oak wood uh, on the side of that. Uh, this little kind of like corner block here has kind of got a seat built into it. So this is where I was trying to integrate uh, the actual design with the, the planks. And actually do some interior stuff at the same time. This keeps on hitting me in the face. Um, keep on putting some stuff on the side here. And just have some bookcases around there. Uh, chamber pot, uh, apparently full. <laughs> And uh, we also got a nice chest on the side here, a large chest for some stuff. And also decided to do a like a little wardrobe and actually put some stuff in it. So I put in some armor stands and just had some red and blue armor. I, I don't know about it, but yeah, the idea being that that's supposed to be open uh, on that side. Otherwise, you won't be able to see inside it. Uh, and then, yeah, a nice little desk and also like a book on one of the lecterns. I'm not too sure about that one at all. Uh, but there are technically two little seats in here as well, so you can actually sit down. God knows why you'd want to sit there, there, and also there. I mean, that's a lot of seating for one person. Now, a little secret. I'm sure you guys have seen this loads of times, but yeah, I got a chest in behind here with some diamonds. Uh, just using the normal painting kind of thing. The only thing is you have to take the painting off to get it, so it's a bit annoying. But again, you'd have all these barrels in here. Uh, it's, it's an awesome feature, the barrels. The texture's good, and it also means that we can actually do, um, well, lots of different things. I don't know about that, though. And that upside down there when it's opening. But, you know, whatever. Um, for the balcony here, yeah, nice and simple. There's not really too much to it. It's just a nice little view, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens with that. Um, let's keep on going upstairs. Now, the second secret hiding place is not upstairs at all. Uh, but yeah, upstairs, it's kind of like this. It overlooks the actual kitchen. It's a bit weird, actually, this. Um, I just couldn't figure out how to get the staircase up there where it looked natural with still having like a really big bedroom, because that was one of my... I think so, really wanted. So yeah, we got this kind of like area up here, which has a strange little window on that side. So that kind of opens it up. A uh, nice little chest on this side, and a wither rose as well. I wanted to put those around, or one of those around even. Um, so yeah, nice, nice like looking, overlooking area there. Uh, in this room, we have the actual second kind of bedroom, uh, which is for well, I don't know, somebody else that's doing other stuff. Uh, so they've got a nice little desk around here. They've also got a cartography table up here, another lectern. Uh, obviously, they're reading a book of some kind. And I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, just a large chest. And obviously, we've still got the barrels as well for that main window. And there's another little window on the side of this, uh, which obviously I didn't know if it was there or not. I just decided to put one in and decided to put it in a totally different place than the other ones just to give it a nice bit of variation. So if we go downstairs now, this is the other thing about this that I really, really like. Um, this one has this whole, like, under under the house kind of area, uh, which is really, really cool. So, oh yeah, composter as well. I've, I've thrown one of those in. Uh, I thought, you know, why not just shove that on the outside? So downstairs, we've actually got like a workshop type area. So we've actually got, yeah, lots of wood in here. Uh, and also the saw blade, so we can actually, or stone cutter even. Yeah, stone cutter, because um, I think of it as cutting wood, but obviously it's actually stone or whatever. You know, can't obviously cut that, that'd be weird. But um, yeah, can't do any of those. I haven't got any blocks at all to cut. It would be normal stone, you idiot. Ah. Oh. So there we go, if we shove that in there, here we go. So now we get all of our nice like stone blocks from that. Uh, I do like it actually, it's very, very cool. Um, yeah, so we've got that, it's like this workshop here, nice little crafting table on the side. Uh, underneath this bit we've got an actual forge, I decided to go with a full forge. Um, now it does, doesn't does really work, I mean it, it's just got slabs, so the fire above, um, there's no way for this to get out, it just, it just didn't work, not really. But yeah, got some fire blocks in there, um, just using the, the normal kind of fire. Um, but I decided to do a couple different things, well, just a little bit differently. Obviously, we got the nice anvil, and I've got an axe on there. It's supposed to be like a, 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 a hammer or something. So we've got a sword that he's been uh, tempering. We've got some like raw metal type stuff. Um, quench. There we go. <laughs> got it in the end. I've also put in a smoker on the side here. This is supposed to be like a... Um, you know, bellows, so they pull down on that and, and somehow this would get air into the fire, somehow. Uh, we've got the grindstone uh, on the side there for all our chanting these. Uh, just shoved up a bell, because, um, why not, I don't know. Who, who knows? And we've got some, uh, yeah, blast furnaces on the side part there. I think they're really good. In this bit we've got some barrels again, and we've got some more chests around this side, so lots of chests and everything like that. Storage is just 
completely king on this entire build. And then some more around here, and then this is where the actual secret is, and if you guys follow me on Discord, or not really follow me on Discord, or a part of my Discord, you would have seen a screenshot. There is a little glitch that you can actually do in 114, not really a glitch, but um, one way to force yourself to crawl is to put your uh, trapdoor like this, click it, and you'll then get into the crawling position where you look like a complete and utter idiot on the floor. Um, but because of this, you can actually do some pretty cool stuff, and I have seen a very funny video, but this is where I've actually got some secret chests. This is where I've got my diamonds in here, of course, because it's only like one block tool. Um, no mobs can spawn, so how cool is that? Nice little secret area underneath the floor. Nobody's really going to know about it. I did think about doing some redstone around here, which is what I was messing around with, but then I found that obviously because I've got trapdoors, they just all get set off and it goes really weird and you then can't get in. Um, but I did think, okay, can I put maybe like this one on this side? Um, so that then when it does flick down, at least I can get into it from here and then it closes. Um, or something like that, I don't know. Or, or I might do it on a loop, I don't know. Something where, you know, you just press the button to open it and press the button to close it. That kind of thing, but I'm not too sure at the minute. But I'm sure you guys can come up with some really cool ideas using that. Um, but yeah, do that as like cool little secrets just to to knock you down into... Oops. Knock you down into the crawl mode, which is a really cool feature. Um, but yeah guys, I've really enjoyed doing this. Um, if you guys want a tutorial on this build as well, please do let me know. Um, because I really like it. I think it's actually one of my better medieval houses. Probably the best medieval house I've made in a very long time. Um, if not the best. Uh, and I absolutely love the picture as well that I actually built it off. Absolutely brilliant. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to comment like and subscribe. Go and check out Dong Hee Han as well, the original uh, artist who had drawn this, um, the original design. But yeah guys, I will see you on the next one.